Good morning, MBTHS. I'm Johnny Matura. And I'm Adrian Salazar. And this is MBT News. Our first story today is on the music that creates the ambience for the commute through the halls in the morning. We sent one of our own, Adrian and Dino, out into the field to do some interviews on the topic. Good morning, NBTHS. My name is Adrian Andino, and today I'll be asking students what they think of the music that's being played in the mornings. What are your views on it? To be honest, um, I mean, it's not bad. It's just, it's just they just kind of play like music that like no one's like really into and all that stuff. And like, you know, some people say like it's early in the morning. Like, why are they playing this kind of music? I mean, it's just from my opinion. What are your views on the morning music that they play? I mean, it's not that great. It's all right. What kind of music would you like to listen to in the mornings? Better music than what they play now. What are your views on the music that they play in the morning? Um, I think that the music they play is like kind of old. Like I feel like they should put more like recent music. Not recent, but like more up-to-date music. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. Like sometimes they'd be quiet in the hallway and all that, and they'd be kind of boring. And yeah, I mean, I feel like they just they should just put newer music like with like something that people will consider listening to. How do you choose the music? Uh, well, there's this website that we go on. It's like Today in Music History, where uh, there's things in past years that uh, music artists have done, whether it's all the way from like the 50s or like a year ago. And uh, we choose a song based on what the artist has done today in history. All right. Thank you for your time. And now back to Johnny and Adrian in the studio. Thanks for that, Adrian. The Mediterranean Club are putting on their annual innovation show for the 2017 school year. I hear it should be quite a spectacle, but don't just take my word for it. One of our reporters got the lowdown on what to expect from this year's show. Take it away, Neha. Hi, I'm Neha, and I'm here with Siren Benjamin Murray, the president of the Mediterranean Club. So, what is innovation? Innovation is a South Asian cultural show, and we have skit, we have dances, and this year our skit is themed around a South Asian wedding. So we're going to show the entire community exactly how we put on a wedding. So you guys have been rehearsing a lot. How's that been going for you? Well, the reality is rehearsals are pretty hectic, but compared to previous years and compared to everything I've ever seen, this is the one time our show is really coming together, and I'm really excited to see how it's coming together. I'm here with Eric Pachunkar and Nikhil J. What is your role on the show? Oh, so I'm the main lead in the show, right? So come out, see a little bit of me. It's Friday and Saturday, March 17th and 18th, and come out. And it should be a really good show. How excited are you for the show? I'm very excited. We've put a lot of work. We started over the summer, and it's a time now long before the show. We're all really excited. So, how excited are you for ending? I'm very excited. It's going to be a really good show this year. If you could describe innovation in one word, what would it be? I would describe innovation as innovative. It's excitement. It's full of energy. Lit. Thanks, Naha. The seniors sure look like they are excited for their last innovation show. And now we move on from excitement to massive paranoia. That's right, Adrian. One of our most notable senior traditions is back, and that's senior assassins. Now we're going to throw it over to Nikita Verma to get the story on it. What is senior assassins? So senior assassins is this game that the seniors play every year. And it's basically like we each get targets and you use a water gun or like a water bottle and you have to try to get them out by getting them wet. What role do you play for Senior Assassins? So I don't play the game. I just organize it and I'm the one who picks everybody's target and um, just make sure that everybody plays by the rules. Okay. What happened last year that you don't want happening this year? Last year we had kind of a problem because... Um, the night of the Alchemist musical, everybody was like bombarding the kids when they got out of school and especially when they went to Omega, which they usually do. And um, just like in the parking lot, people were using their cars to block everybody off and it was just really dangerous and terrible. So I hope that doesn't happen this year. When does it start? It's probably going to start earlier this year, probably like March 20th, the first day of spring. Are you doing Senior Assassins? Uh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh, yeah, I am. What's your strategy? Probably hiding in my house for the next couple of months. Uh, well, I'm hoping to go all the way. I'm hoping to come out on top. Do you think you're going to win? Not in a million years, but it's worth a shot. How do you think you're going to do? Uh, probably poorly, but I'm going to give it my best effort. Do you think your target will get you at work? I hope not. I mean, I work with water, so I'll just grab a bucket and I'll just splash it all over them. It'll be the end of them. Thanks, Nikki. Senior Assassin sure sounds fun. However, I will not be participating. Me either. It's extremely nerve-wracking, and I also forgot when the deadline for the money was, but that's besides the point. 
And now I'm here to tell you that MBT News is going Hollywood. And by that, of course, I mean we have a new addition to the morning newscast. That's right, Johnny. We have our own Matt Cerati doing a brand new entertainment piece to add a little bit more variety. Take it away, Matt. So Logan being Hugh Jackman's last film as Wolverine, he definitely left with a bang. This was a strong film. A film that was rated R, which was questionable to some people, but it definitely worked out. He brought that beast animal that Wolverine brings to all his comics. It also freed up the dialogue between the characters, which I thought was pretty cool. XJ23, a new member to these X-Men movies, she did a great job. She didn't have much dialogue, but you could see the emotion in her face throughout. And they did a good job with showing that this isn't the same Wolverine. This is old man Logan. He's beat up. He's not healing the same. And they emphasize that. He's not the same man that he used to be. Overall, I thought it was a great movie. If you love the comic, go check it out. If you love just to watch movies, go check it out. It was a great movie. I get Let's get into the second movie, the talked about sequel, the one that everybody's been waiting for, John Wick Chapter 2. The first one was awesome. It brought... It was a universe I'd never seen before. It was a universe of assassins. They brought these action and these killings that were never done, that I've never seen before. But this one added on top of that. Keanu Reeves strives in this role. He loves the atmosphere, he loves the universe, and overall he loves the character. He wants to continue doing these. This was a great movie. I didn't like how they made the universe not as exclusive as the first one. It felt like a lot of, too many people were involved in this universe. But overall it was a great movie. I'll give it an eight out of 10 also. Well, it's safe to say, I know what I'll be doing in my free time, and that's going to see John Wick Chapter 2. Honestly, you can't pass up a great opportunity to see such a good movie. And now, on to another brand new segment that we are trying out here on MBT News. We recently heard the song Kill a Word by Eric Church, which is a ballad about disposing all the words that he believes do not deserve to be in the English language. The song inspired us to send our own Sharif Wilson to ask people about their own interpretations about killing a word. Take it away, Sharif. I want to ask you, I need you to think deep about this. If you could eliminate any word from the English dictionary, which word would you eliminate? I wouldn't eliminate just one word. I'd probably eliminate like three or four of them, starting with a lot, ain't, similar, different. <laughs> okay, that's all right, but what's your reasoning for eliminating these words? I'm tired of seeing it in student essays. <laughs> Is that a good reason? <laughs> That would be impossible to answer with just one word. I'd probably choose three. Three words would be bad, good, and average. I would choose bad and good because you should be using better words than that for English class when you write an essay. And you should never be satisfied with average. You should always be better than average. The word is good or good enough because good enough, as I think there's an old saying, good is the enemy of great. And therefore, I hate when things are, it's good enough, because that implies, well, it's not really perfect, but whatever. And I think we should try for more than just whatever, or it's good enough. It needs to be great. That was heartwarming. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I shot all of these stories because this specific topic really means a lot to me. If I had to choose a word, I would choose hatred, because right now, we don't need hate in this world. All we need is love. Thanks, Sheree, for those interesting opinions and that heartfelt anecdote at the end. Alas, we reached the end of our newscast, but before we go, we have a few messages from some teachers in our school that we think you should hear. Park testing will begin March 27th and will run through the end of April. You will receive an individual letter in your homeroom with your testing times and locations. Please report on time to your test. Please bring your own earbuds for the listening sections of the ELA test. Grade 9 students must take all three years of Park. It is a graduation requirement. Students may no longer refuse to test. All students enrolled in a 9th, 10th, or 11th grade English, CP English, or Honors English class will be participating in four sections of the ELA test. Some seniors will need to take the ELA test if they are enrolled in a 9th, 10th, or 11th grade English course. All students grades 9 through 12 enrolled in Algebra 1, Geometry, or Algebra 2 are required to take part. Please be aware that seniors enrolled in any of the above courses are required to take PARC, even if they have already passed their graduation assessment. Hi guys, my name is Ms. Morales, and once again, I just want to inform you that Middle State's visit is just around the corner. They are coming to visit our school March 21st to the 24th.
Throughout the visit, they're going to come into your classrooms and they're going to visit and they'll be there for about five minutes. I just want to see how our classrooms uh, look and the type of educational program that we are running. Um, some of them may stop you in the hallway to give you a pass so that you can come and sit down and talk to them about how you feel about our school, the things that you like, the things that we are doing well, and the things that we may need to improve upon. My name is Ms. Schmidt and I'm just reminding you about the new mission statement. So students, couple of your peers, representative, parents, and staff members worked really hard last year to revise the mission statement so it best reflects our school. Please know by looking in the classroom at the banner at the beginning of the school day um, and in your student handbooks what the new mission statement is. It reads, the mission of North Brunswick Township High School is to provide a nurturing environment that fosters personal and academic growth, creating lifelong learners who are globally aware citizens. Remember, know your mission statement when they come to visit, just know that they are here to help us improve, and I thank you very much. Hi, my name is Lagnola Sebuachi, and I'm a junior. Hi, my name is Pramila Baisia, and I'm a junior. Hi, my name is Audrey Asari, and I'm a junior. Hi, my name is Amanda Sandy, and I'm a junior. Hi, my name is Mahana Berry, and I'm a junior. Hi, my name is Kayla McCargo, and I'm a junior. Hi, my name is Colin White, and I'm a junior. Hi, my name is Cassandra Mensa, and I'm a junior. Hi, my name is Alexis Kerswick, and I'm a sophomore. Hi, my name is Jillian Miller, and I'm a sophomore, and we are part of the Harassment, Intimidation, and Bullying Committee. We need your help to decide on a name. Should it be STAN or ABC? STAN stands for Sticking Together Against Negative Decisions. Vote for STAN. ABC stands for Inside Bullying Committee. Vote for ABC. Please vote in Ms. Tissue's office. By Friday, in room 594. Near the pool area. Don't forget to vote! Until next time, I'm Adrian Salazar, and I'm Johnny Mentor, and this is NBC News.